Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines and a special Sunday afternoon to those are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, we visit the parish of St. Elizabeth once again, where the family of the late Peter Mendy are still grieving his loss. Now they find it very hard after he was murdered at the Kincaid Plaza last year by a gunman which happened at a cash pot outlet on the plaza that evening. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, Peter Menny was only waiting on his son who he hasn't seen for 11 years my viewers and my subscribers due to athletics sponsorship. Now his life was cut short by one of the robbers in progress that night. Now while the robbers are in custody and it's believed to be the killer of Peter Mendy and that is Dwayne Morrison aka Sharky. Now Sharky was on the St. Best Most Wanted list for robberies, shooting and murders and it's believed that he's the trigger man behind the killing of Peter Mendy, my viewers and my subscribers. Now Sharky was a member of the St. Elizabeth Notorious Gang from Brompton which is called the Speculation Gang where the leader who is known as Dino who was in prison for 10 years for armed robbery and illegal gun my viewers and my subscribers. Now Dino came out last year July but last week he was arrested and charged by the police for a next armed robbery in Westmoreland my viewers and my subscribers where a man to believe in his 50s was shot and killed by the police during a shootout. Now Dino and his gang created havoc in St. Elizabeth for a few years. We talk about bar robberies, removal of poker boxes, home invasions, store robberies, you name it. The speculation gang were the head of the center of all these robberies in the parish of St. Elizabeth too. And also murders. Yeah man. His gang members went around the parish of St. Bess and created murders during robberies. But that murder happened last year in Malvern, St. Bess, where the two men were shot and killed by the same gang. And also, this gang went around and injured people during robberies. Now, Dino is back in prison again. I'm just now learning. Now, Sharky was a member of the speculation gang, but because of internal gang feud, he took away himself and head to the south side of St. Elizabeth. I'm talking about Southfield, Monroe Pastor Division, Roan Hill, Berlin, Bellevue, you name it. And there and then he formed his little foot soldiers and went around and broke into people's houses, robbed bars, and created two murders on that side of St. Elizabeth. Now he's behind bars right now and awaiting sentences my viewers and my subscribers. But right now I'm going to play a little clip from the Jamaica Observer where the family of Peter Mendy speaks and express how they are affected by the loss of Peter Mendy. Take a look and take a listen. He didn't see his son in I think 11 years and his son came down and he was staying with me. So there was some arrangement for them to meet up by Kincaid Plaza. I called Peter at four minutes to seven and he didn't answer. And still waiting on his son to go up. He was still getting dressed. Peter was standing, looking down, he did not want to miss him. It is like two stories up and my husband was supposed to drop him off. So he was looking down the entire time, not wanting to miss him. And at about, as I said, 10 minutes to eight, my niece called me. And I'm telling you, to this day, I just, the whole family, we, do, we don't know. We, we just can't get it together. And when she said to me, Auntie Viv, gunman killed Peter, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's not easy. It's not easy. He was a very, 
loving, devoted brother. I am sorry, but I just can't, still can't keep it together. You are still in the parish of St. Elizabeth, a.k.a. St. Bess. Yesterday morning, a Chinese business operator, a businessman to be exact, was shot in the leg by gunmen along the Ballas Valley main road, my viewers and my subscribers. It happened exactly 10.30 a.m. yesterday morning. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, gunmen on a motorcycle blocked the way of the business man in his vehicle. Those gunmen ordered the man to hand over the cash. He refused and he was shot in the leg. Now the gunmen grabbed the bag and made good the escape. That business owner who is a Chinese is in hospital considered not serious. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, St. Elizabeth has become the haven for criminals. I'm telling you, so many things are happening in the parish of St. Elizabeth and many persons across Jamaica don't even know because it is being hidden and people in that parish are crying out for serious intervention when it comes down to police and military presence once again because the criminals are migrating from other parishes coming to St. Elizabeth creating haven and getting away, getting away because they know the police in St. Elizabeth especially south side they are doing nothing that is effective. They are targeting motorists as usual and gunmen are escaping during these robberies and these murders. So therefore it will be more serious police in St. Elizabeth, police who are aggressive, police who are proactive, policemen who will get the job done. And to be honest with you, many policemen in that parish are corrupt. And when I say corrupt, these policemen know about these potential robberies but because these criminals are scammers are paying them to keep quiet and not go after them these policemen arrive on the scene very late and these criminals get away hey man, police scammers police heavy in the parish of St. Elizabeth and this need to stop you have police linking up with scammers police linking up with us and then the parish get out of hand and these police are doing nothing but targeting motorists and taxi men. It has to stop. You have to go after gunmen aggressively. If you can't get the job done, you leave and let somebody else do it. Also on the eastern side of Kingston and St. Andrew, in Franklin Town to be exact. On the screen is a young man who is called Justin Summers and in a section of Franklin Town, Justin was shot and killed by gunmen, my viewers and my subscribers. Now Justin is a past student of the St. Thomas Technical High School in St. Thomas. Now however, right now details as to where exactly in Franklin Town he was killed is sketch at the moment or by who or what time. But definitely my viewers and my subscribers, later on, I'll give you more update on the murder of Justin Summers. Now, to my viewers and my subscribers, also in Grand Spain, a police was shot and injured by a blown gunman on a motorcycle. However, his injuries is considered not life-threatening. This is J. Crazy News once again. Until then, have a blessed and safe Sunday afternoon. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy